Hey everyone, welcome back. So, as I mentioned before, I wanted to kind of show you how to incorporate some uh, different types of functionality to your camera. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some averaging between two targets. And also, I'm going to demonstrate how to create focal points uh, that your player will, or the camera will respond to if a certain target that it's tracking is close enough to another target that you want to focus on or between. So as we created in our camera management video, uh, our separate camera styles, we can add another function here. This will be void um, average between targets pass at our camera vector 2, target A, vector 2, target B. And you know what? I think I'm going to make this uh, lock average tar between targets, uh, as this will just be a static snap to, uh, such as the lock on target. Um, and easy enough, we can just take this again, paste that there, and uh, we're, what we're going to want to do is use a basic averaging function minus, or I'm sorry, that is plus target b dot x and divide that by 2. That is how you get the average, uh, the sum of all the targets and divided by how many targets there are. That will give you the average. And then we can do the same thing down here target a dot y plus target b dot y divided by 2. And always pay attention, remember your Cartesian coordinates, uh, whether the y is on top or bottom, so when you're doing stuff like up in here or anywhere really, uh, that your camera is going to track properly. Um, so with that, we have our lock average between targets now. And that's all you have to do. That's Those are I mean, for the most part, that's what a lot of these functions are going to be changing, is just how the X and Y are being set. And that's how you be able to pump out the most functionality between the two. So if we go back, get that, we can uh, set this to lerp. So I want a lock and lerp between targets. Um, so I'm going to create a float average X equals this real quick. That way the function won't look too messy. Float average y equals that with the y's. Okay, and then if we grab this real quick, we can just actually grab both of these. Throw those in there. And all that has to be is average x an average y. Okay, so now we have two very, uh, or actually not very different types of functions. So as you see, like we can just pile these in and they all act different and it's actually pretty nice to work with. Um, so if camera val, you know what, I'm just going to switch this to a switch statement for the sake of cleaning it up. Uh, case zero equals camera styles dot lock on target camera target and that's going to be the lock on room so camera type equals lock on room center break case one camera styles dot lock or you know what, I'm going to have that lerp to target, camera, target, lerp, room center, break, and then case two, camera styles dot, we'll have lock, average between targets, camera, 
target and then uh, player dot get position dot scale ppm as usual um, camera type and this camera type string by the way is just uh, what I use as in previous the previous camera management video um, there was that text on screen um, so I can just change that here um, lock average player room break okay and so let's check it out real quick um, we have three different kinds of camera functionality just right here and I can change that on the fly by pressing a I have that camera value increment anytime I press a um, so right now it's locked on center very static lock so instantaneous transition to the next room and if I press a um, it'll have that interpolation change to the camera center um, if I press a one more time we're gonna get a very interesting type of camera um, so it's a uh, I believe it's interpolating it should be <laughs> um, it looks to be kind of smoothed out but I oh know that's lock did I use lock or did I use lerp okay so I did use lock um, but now you'll see that like there's the player over here and the room center is over here and as you see the center of the camera is actually between those two points um, which is what those averaging functions will do for us and then if I go to this next room it'll do the same thing because the target gets changed uh, in my project code to be the center of the room that the player is currently in um, so let's go back and uh, just kind of check out what that lerp average looked like so as you see, it's really easy to just switch on or switch off certain functions for the camera to use. So lock average, okay. So it's not actually lock average anymore. Um, I'm, I changed it to lerp. But now you'll see it like it's, it's interpolating uh, between the player and the room center uh, and still doing that averaging. And that gives a really nice feel to the camera. And then if I go into this next room, uh, you'll get a nice transition instead of a snappy one like it was before. Um, so there's that. Uh, I believe I'm going to wait just a little bit before I get into the more advanced camera styles, um, which is going to involve focal points and that targeting, like if a player was within a specific distance threshold, then it'll the camera will change its functionality on demand. Um, so with that, hope you enjoyed these two new functions that we added to our camera. Um, and check back later for the next one. Thank you.